Hey everyone, the Unpro Pro here, and I would like to show you guys if you're new to Windows 7, uh, some well, just some free software to help you out um, <coughs> as far as computer protection goes. I'm showing you an antivirus and a firewall. Both are from Komodo, and I'm going to be downloading both of them. First, I'm going to go ahead and download the Komodo firewall by going to personalfirewall.komodo.com, and you can get the free version, which works all all the same. And uh, it's a, it comes with an antivirus, firewall, and proactive security. And I don't know why I went to this one. This comes with everything. It's it's like um, the it's free, and it comes with antivirus, firewall, and proactive security, which is I, f I forget what that is, but it's something like a, it's something like a like a a constant thing that protects your computer. Or no, no, no that's right, that's right. If if there's a new threat. Un, that that's not in the database. The proactive will, you know, if if it sees it and it, whatever's trying to activate works like a virus does, the proactive security is gonna stop it right away, even if it's not detected in the database. Uh, anyways, so it'll take some time for this to download because I'm not really that connected to the uh, website, I guess, to the servers that are they're really busy. So I'm gonna pause this until there. Be right back. Alright guys, um, it's done, so I'm just going to click the installer and click run. Uh, by the way, I'm using the web browser known as Goom, which you can download it by going to google.com slash chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, and it's, an, it's a nice web browser, I like it. Anyways, the Komodo installer, let's get this thing started. You'll see this installer, you just select your language, mine's English, so, and then click OK, <coughs> and then enter your email address. Ah, typos. Uh, enable ad security or added security while internet changing DNS. You can change the DNS servers if you want. You can, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and go with everything by its default. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah. <laughs> so while that's installing, uh, well I guess I'll just talk about stuff. <laughs> All right. Windows, sorry if I have like any sniffling or exhaling out the nose, like I have the flu, so it's like irritating. Uh, anyway, Microsoft Windows is very, very vulnerable to viruses. Now, that doesn't mean like, you know, it's not a good operating system to use. Uh, Windows really is a fantastic operating system, <coughs> but uh, the only thing that really jams it down is, is viruses. Now there are little to no viruses for the Macintosh uh, operating system, Mac OS X, or any other Mac for that matter. Um, you you have the old Macs too, that's why I said, like really really old Macs, which are very very boring to use, and are frustrating. But anyway, it's it's still good altogether. Macs have always been a really really good company, or that makes no sense. See, I, I can't even think straight. Anyways, the Mac operating system really is nice as well but there's I don't know like for some reason a lot of people choose not to use Mac but actually I know exactly why it's because the price pricing for Macs are ridiculous <laughs> a MacBook Pro would cost you around two thousand bucks it's like holy cow anyway <coughs> um, there's there's a free operating system that you can download and install is called Linux and there are a million types of Linux like uh, not types distros um, one of the most commonly used ones is Ubuntu and then there's Fedora and then there's Linux Mint Ubuntu and Linux Mint are both based on Debian which uh, is a Linux operating system but yeah it's free and there are literally no viruses that I know of for it <coughs> okay and as you can see here here's the interface I'm at home, so I'm gonna click home. Uh, you need to restart the computer to, to, uh, to, yeah, to fix everything. And as you can see, it tells you everything that's using the internet right now. And down here, you'll this thing will pop up uh, if you have a new connection. Let's try opening Internet Explorer, for example. It should pop up. If not, then they changed it. But back, well, back in the old days, like old Komodo firewall uh, it would not allow anything to access the internet that it did not already know or that you did not already say hey this is okay 
So, like, uh, if some random application just decides to access your computer or the internet, you would have like a little pop-up down here, and it would, you can allow it or disallow it. So that's one of the really good things about <coughs> the the firewall. You can allow, disallow, or I think you can also completely, completely stop the uh, internet from processing somehow. I can't remember how to do that. You got safe mode, and then you have block all. That's if you really need to do virus scanning or something like that, you just block all. Uh, training mode. <coughs> training mode, I think, is where you can like have it do the thing that you want it to do. Um, let's go ahead and look at uh, other options in the firewall. You got view firewall events, active connections, which it'll show you. What is this thing? It'll show you all of your connections that's going on right now. Um, define a new trusted application. Define a blocked application, which allows you to block an application from accessing the internet. Uh, this is good for like if you if you have your computer um, like in a at a workplace or something like that, and you don't want people accessing uh, web browsers or something like that. You can block certain web browsers unless you know they log in somehow or something like that. Uh, network security policy. What? Oh, okay. Create. You can modify filtering and rules. It's like kind of hard to read. Cause I'm like really far away from the screen. But anyway, <laughs> view active connections. Uh which we already went over that. <laughs> stealth ports. What's a stealth port? This wizard allows you to create a set of global firewall rules which will affect your computer's visibility from other computers. Pretty neat. So you can hide your uh you can hide your computer from like if someone else is on your network, you can hide your existence. So you can become like a computer ninja. <laughs> Uh, firewall behavior settings, which again, it's like how you can, you can turn it all like here, safe mode and all that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, uh, you have defense plus, which again, defense plus will stop a file from activating if it activates like a virus. Uh, like, yeah. You can run a program in sandbox mode as well, so therefore it can't access your actual files, I think. I, I believe. <laughs> okay. And here's the preferences areas and stuff. So there's the firewall. Now let's see if we can't go over the um, antivirus area. Just start typing like anti, you know, Komodo. There you go, Komodo. Geek buddy, Komodo dragon. Okay, what's this? I think this must be the firewall thing. Oh, check that out. It's a it's a web browser, I guess. It's Chrome, but well, that's interesting. You can safely browse the web using Chrome. That's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> See, that was new. All right, guys. So, anyways, well, there you go. And after you fix this, I'm quite sure you can do a virus scan. I'm not too sure on that, but it comes with the antivirus. So, go ahead and restart your computer, and yeah. See you guys later.